Today, I'm going to show you how to quote a screen the right way. And it's really simple and straightforward. You add a motion to the scoop quoter and then you flood the screen two times in the back, one time in the front. But as beginners, sometimes we overthink stuff and make the simplest things look impossible. But don't worry, because I broke this whole process into five different steps. The equipment you need, the mistakes to prevent before and after quoting, the whole process, the cleanup, and the big question. Do you really need a dark room? Nevertheless, welcome back to our series, Screen Printing from Start to Finish, Part 2. It's about bringing a design to life from scratch. Our first video was about creating the design and prepping the artwork so it could be screen printing. If you want to catch up, I'm going to link the video up here. Now, let's continue with the video. All right, let's start with the equipment. And you're going to need a scoop quarter, spatula, a screen, and of course the emotion. And there's a lot of different emotions out there. There's one that comes with a diazo where you have to mix it and prep it. But we're not going to talk about that one in this video. Or we're not going to talk about any emotion that has to do with water-based inks. And the emotion that we're going to be working with today is mainly used for plastic on ink. And I love it because it already comes prepared. I don't have to like prep it or anything. I just grab it and put it to work right away. It's called Chromo Brew Photopolymer. And I've been using this emotion for the past three years. And it's been working great. Now, by the end of this video, I'm going to show you where you can find all this equipment. At. So make sure to watch this video all the way to the end. And if you're new to our channel, my name is Milo. And it will mean the world to me if you hit that like button. Let's talk about mistakes now that a lot of beginners make, including myself, that you could prevent before quoting your screens. If your screens are like brand new, like straight out of the box, make sure to wash them and degrease them. Because most likely they'd be sitting in the warehouse for quite a while. On top of that, the humidity, it's just going to make the whole screen a little dirty. And you will notice it right from the start, but when you start burning them and you start seeing that design not come off all the way, or leaving some type of residue, it's gonna to be too late. You're gonna to have to redo all that all over again. So I'm just trying to prevent you some headaches and save you some time. After you finish washing your screens, make sure they fully dry. And when they're completely dry, don't let them sit for too long. Try to quote them right away because this mesh right here, it attracts dust. It's like a dust magnet. And when they're clean, don't be touching them with your dirty hands. And the last mistake, well, it's really not a mistake. But it was a problem that I had when I started screen printing, and that's panicking. Don't panic. You could quote your screens when there's light. Nothing will happen. And when I mean light, I mean like a regular house light, not sunlight. You want to stay away from sunlight. If you're close to a window, make sure to close that window before opening that uh, emotion. Because the UV rays of the sunlight are way stronger than these lights. And there's a couple more mistakes that you could avoid, but we'll talk about those after we finish quoting our screen. All right, let's get to work. And just know that quoting screens is a messy job. So I would recommend to use a cardboard as like your quoting station. It's gonna save you some time, and I promise it's gonna save you some headaches. I've been doing this for a little bit over four years, and every time I leave a drop. All right, the first thing that we do when we open the emotion, you want to stir it up, but not like a crazy stir. You want to stir it up nice and gentle. Because if you start stirring it up all crazy, it's going to leave a lot of bubbles on the top of it. And you don't want none of that. Now, when you're filling up your scoop quarter, you want to fill it up only up to halfway. Because if you fill it up more, it's going to start getting messy. You're going to start spilling and you don't want none of that. So just fill it up to halfway. If you need more, you add some more. That's it. And most of the scoop quarters have two sides, a round side and a sharp side. The round side drops a higher deposit of emotion and the sharp side Drops less. And I'll be honest, I rarely use the wrong side. I always stick to the sharp side. I have only used it probably like twice in like four years. And before you start um, quoting your screens, you want to make sure your emotion is evenly spread around the scoop quarter. So you kind of want to balance it around until everything's nice. And we're going to start in the back. Always start in the back. We're going to do two passes in the back and then go to the front. All right. So you grab your scoop quarter. You're leaning against the, the mesh, like an inch from the frame. As soon as all the emotion hits the screen, you flood. Super easy. And then, same thing. Flood. And we come to the front. And we flood. And this is some ex something extra that I do. Come back to the back, and I'll scrape. I'll scrape the extra emotion 
and then I finish the scraping in the front. And let's just say, if you leave extra emotion like on the frame or on the sides, just grab your spatula, scrape this around, kind of even everything out. You know, when you're a beginner, this will happen. So having a spatula is gonna come, gonna come very handy. And if you get tired, you don't want to be on your knees. You can use a a bucket or a chair, just so you won't be on your knees. Me, I really don't care to get dirty, to be honest. I quoted all my screens with two passes, except for this one. I'll explain it to you in the next video. But I'll give you a small hint in the end of this video. All right, now we're done, and it's time for cleanup. Clean up, clean up. And I didn't want to make this a step, but if you don't clean your school quarter right away after cleaning your screen, the emotion is going to dry to the school quarter and cleaning it, man, it's going to be a hassle. And of course, make sure to close your emotion right back up, nice and tight, because you don't want no light or humidity to come in there and mess up with your emotion. And at this here. You want to make sure that the sharp side is super clean because you're going to reuse it again. And that's it. And it's really simple if you do it right away. But if you take forever to clean it, I promise you that you will have problems. The price of the scoop quarters are going up. So take care of your scoop quarters. We mustn't linger. It is easy to get lost in memory. Now, I dry my screens flat with the squeegee side facing up, not sideways. And if you didn't know, this is the squeegee side and this is the print side. Front side, back side. And wherever you dry your screens, make sure that that room is dark. You could quote your screens on light, but when they dry, they gotta be on a dark place. And once again, regular house light, not sunlight. Stay away from sunlight. Besides all that, if you want your screens to dry fast, put them in front of a fan. And if you have no rush, then let them sit overnight, 12 hours, 16 hours, and they should be completely dry. Now, let's talk about some mistakes that could happen after quoting your screens. Because we're going for a nice, glossy, glass uh, look whenever you quote the screen. If it looks dark on one side and light on the other, that means that you didn't completely put uh, the same emotion on the, on the screen. You put more emotion on the dark side. So what you do, you go back and you scrape the extra emotion. Or you didn't put enough emotion on the light side. So you go and you quote it again. And then you scrape it again so everything can be nice and even. Another common mistake that I see is that whenever your screen starts to leave like little bubbles, like little drops, it's because it has a lot of emotion. Whenever you're quoting your screens, take that extra step and scrape it. It takes a little bit of extra time, but it's well worth it, trust me. And just know this, the temperature of the room determines how well the screen is gonna dry. If it's too cold, the emotion on the screen is gonna freeze. If it's too humid, it won't dry. A lot of screen print shops have a dehumidifier in their shop, or, or wherever they have their screens, just to uh, kind of control the humidity in the room. But I don't, because uh, my basement is kind of cool, kind of cool. So. I haven't had that problem yet. Maybe if I ever get a shop, I'll definitely have to get one. And here's the big question that a lot of us used to ask, especially me when I was a beginner. Do I need a dark room? The answer is no, no you don't. But will a dark room make things easier? Yes, 100% it will. And if you don't have the money or don't have the space, here's what I did. I bought a pan rack for like under 100 bucks. And then I cover it with plastic bags and cardboard. It's nothing fancy, but it gets the job done. And if you can't afford that, I'm gonna show you a cheaper way. And this is the way that I did it when I started screen printing. And this is what I did. I'll grab some like regular canned foods, some corn canned foods, and I'll place them like this. And I know you're probably looking at me like, oh, this guy's ridiculous. But when I started, I literally had no money. 
So this is how I dry my screens. Nothing fancy, but it got the job done. And I left them in my closet overnight so they could dry it up. And I'm 100% serious. When I started this business, I had zero dollars, zero pennies. And this was a great way to uh, get the movement going. And just look at the business now. It's not huge, but it's growing slowly. And I'm so grateful. So how can I not believe in God when he has gave me more than what I deserve? And here's where you could get all the equipment at. Scoop quarter, spatula, screens. You go to screenprintdirect.com. And if you use the code MILOPRINTS, you get a 15% discount. I'm going to add the link in the bio. Also, for the Chromo Blue Emotion, I'm also going to add the link in the bio. You can get it at atlasscreenprinting.com. Once again, guys, thank you so much for the love and the support. Make sure to watch the next video because it's the next step. The burning process, the washing, the, the burning the design on the stencil, whatever you guys want to call it. It's the hardest step for a beginner. So make sure to watch it. Thank you. Have a beautiful day. And God bless you all. Let's see if this comes out. Mm-hmm. <laughs>